Some things that I've noticed about when we've added more intricate designs and three enclosures is they just, it looks like they feel more in the wild. And I had thought about that before. We should, like, that we should make more landscape changes in the enclosure it's for it's more immersive, for so the animals feel more comfortable in their environment. Hey guys, it's Tom. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about us setting up a little home for our baby hinchback tortoise, Coco. But what this episode is really about is tortoise pyramiding. People, we know how to stop tortoise pyramiding. It is not the diet of the tortoise. It is keeping your tortoise hydrated and humid. That is the key. If you raise up your baby tortoise in a closed chamber like the one we're going to show you, you will see a tortoise that has minimal pyramiding. I've been doing this for three years, raising up dozens and dozens of hatchlings. My friends have been too. High humidity, 80% and above, doesn't have to be jungle rainforest, but high humidity, relatively moderate temperatures in the 80s is the key to growing a tortoise with a nice smooth shell. We are escaping this enclosure that we made last video. Shout out to Bone Master for making this product. We really enjoy it. Let's just go over a quick rundown of these supplies, rocks, a water bowl, a little piece of wood, plants, some mosses, rocks, bark, leaves, this really nice piece of quartz and some wood. And some substrate, of course. Stop the video. This is really important. The relative humidity is below 50%. That's way too low. We got to get it up. We're going to get it up by adding a bunch of water to the enclosure and sealing off the vents and see what happens. there you go just by closing that door after we put a bunch of water in there come back an hour later the humidity shut up past 80 percent that's what we want right we can get it even higher but we just dose the tank with water so how do we keep it like that well you gotta close the vents to your pvc enclosure okay when we mean closed enclosure we mean like closed no air exchange between the air inside the enclosure and the outside of the enclosure okay maybe like one hole the size of a pencil to make sure it doesn't get too moldy but we truly mean closed you need it to be humid above 80 percent and closed means closed please do it
thought you were done. No, you're not done. Because you know what? For those friends, you guys are out there, you need to spread your knowledge about how to grow a smooth tortoise. We can no longer sit around and let our pet tortoises all around us get pyramided. I'm sick of seeing pyramided tortoises. We need to change husbandry. We need to educate. So get out there and share your knowledge of how you've grown smooth tortoises so that we can have healthy, happy, awesome looking animals.